The other day we were here, remember, and uh, someone came banging on the door. Mm. This like this like random woman. She's like she's like in her early twenties. Came banging on the door. She's like David, and she yeah. screamed. And we went out there, and she just had like a panic attack. And she was like, she was like, never mind, never mind. You can't, you can't, you can't help me. You can't help me. And fucking stormed out of our driveway. A random stranger just stormed out of our driveway, and fucking the knocked knocked the neighbor's basketball hoop over, made a loud noise, and we followed her all the way back to the subway station because we're like, what's wrong with this girl? Let's talk to her. She's been here two days already, mm-hmm. like two nights. She just sits outside on the curb, mm-hmm. and this time she like built up courage to come knock on our door, mm-hmm. and um, and then fast forward a day later. I get a text. It's from the neighbor, and it's like someone keyed the Bronco, <gasps> and and the Bronco had like symbols in it, like letters, like not like keyed, like a scratch, like full on symbols, and yeah. like sketched into the car, oh, and then it had my name in it too, like David spelled out, like in tr- you know the D was a triangle, the A was a triangle, the V obviously a triangle. Everything was like like keyed and like properly keyed, and like there's like a there's like an image of like a. Like there was like a picture in the car uh, in the Ford Bronco, really expensive car, really pretty car. So I go out there and I go check and the girl that was there that night is sitting right next to the car and I go, hi. And, (laughs) and she's like, hi. And I go, did you key this car? (laughs) And she goes, I did. I'm here to apologize. Oh my God. And I go, okay, explain what happened. And she explains and she goes right back into like being not all there and right. really scary and i don't know what to say and like everyone uh, Ilya's texting me or natalie's texting me like get away from her like this she could be dangerous whatever so i so i tell her i sit down with her and i was, I was talking to her for a little bit she's fuck it she obviously just needed help and um and i tell her I was like i'm gonna call the police like, i'm gonna call the police but you have my word like i'm not gonna get you in trouble i just want you to get help is that okay right and she goes yeah I, that that sounds good to me so i call the police First of all, calling the police here is fucking. Have you ever called the police here? It's a they don't come. They don't come for shit. Right. I was transferred three times because sure. when you call the police here, if it's not an emergency, like if you're not being held to like with a gun to your fucking face, mm-hmm. they don't care, and mm-hmm. that's that's totally fair because they're busy, right? They right. Have other fucking shit going on. Sure. So I got transferred three times, dead ass, three times wow. to different police stations, and then they finally they finally came. The neighbors told me. That the other night they called the police because she was banging on everybody's doors and they never showed up. And they called two hours later and they were like, "Do you still need us to come?" They oh, just really? they just never showed up. Yeah, the police never showed up. So so I'm sitting there with her waiting for the police, and and I'm just like, "So why did you like why did you come here?" And I'm like, "Do you know who I am?" And she's like, "Yeah, I know who you are." She's like, "She was like, I was watching your videos. I was watching all your videos, and then and then he told me to just go for it. He told me to just go for it." And I was like, "Who told you?" And she's like, the, the guy who's in my head, he just told me to go for it. Mm-hmm. And, and then she found my address and she just showed up at my house. And she's like, I was told that if I came here, everything would be answered. And like, she kept coming to my house every night because she thought she was going to get these answers. And she's like, she's like, every night I came here, I got an answer. I got another answer. And I kept coming back for more answers, more answers. And she was like, not there. I'm like, are you on any drugs? And she's like, no, I swear to God, I don't do drugs. But she was obviously very disturbed. Um, so yes, yeah, so, I mean, nothing really happened. The police came. Um, they were super, super fucking nice. I made sure of that. I was like, like, she just needs help. And they were like, okay, we're going to get you to a hospital. And she was like, okay. She was super compliant with them and then the cop the cop came up to me she's like how does she know where you live right and i'm like i well i do social media for a living and the cop goes ah did you post your address on internet (laughs) (laughs) and and i go i go i go uh i go no 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 no." she just i think she just like saw some of my videos and she just she kind of just found it and she's like okay i see I think what you're going to want to do from now is you're going to want to change your name on social media. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I go, no, I think it's too late for that. And she goes, she goes, uh, like, how about you just, even, even if you just take David and you shorten it to D and I go, that's not going to help. <laughs> it was really funny explaining to this woman that like, I just like, I can't go back. <laughs> like, Tom Brannon. Like, <laughs> David's new name. Like, hey, Tom. I just changed my fucking name from now on. I go by podcast with Tom Brannon and Jason Nash. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. And then she, they took her away. It's just such a fucking crazy thing that this girl was just like, and really fucked up Natalie's car. Um, I just, I, I felt bad. It's like that was such, nice. You took the time. You made it better for her. I hope so. Has she come back? No, she hasn't. I Not think they, they take her to a hospital for like a night or two. And that's, that's why we need to move. 
Yeah. But that's why it was dangerous that you like were talking to her because you I don't was, know. But I was there and I was like close enough where if she like pulled out a gun, like I could, I could have literally kicked her. You right could do stomach. what, Iron Man? I would <laughs> kicked her in the stomach. I had a whole plan. What would you do? Well, she was standing right by the curb, so I was like, if I push her a little bit, she'll fall on her butt because she's already near the curb. You, you had sussed that out in your brain. I had it, bro. It's like Iron Man. I fucking, I was like, there's a telephone pole there. If I, if I, if I cut into here, it'll fall right on her. And then, <laughs> and then if I throw this lemon peel at her feet, she'll trip and that'll give me just enough time to get over to the motorcycle. Um, no, but yeah, that was, that was an interesting moment. So last night I, I went to bed kind of early before everybody else did and Joe and Taylor decided to come in my room while I was already sleeping and surprised me. And, uh, and just, like, bother you. Yeah, and start, like, annoying me. Like, they did this thing for, like, Joe's log. Yeah, just, yeah, like, start annoying me for, like, fucking whatever reason. In the reason. middle of the night. Yeah. It's always for Joe's log. I, and, I, I, and, I, and I heard them bothering Ilya. And I, and I literally, I told Ella, I was like, Ella, go in there and pull Joe out. Because if Ilya's annoyed any longer, he'll want to move out of this house. <laughs> but then I go into the room, and Joe is in the bed with Ilya. And they're, like, cuddling. And I'm like, oh, I guess it's fine now. <laughs> I'm going to want to move it at some point. Joe will find you so, no matter where you are. So Well, yeah. Joe, Joe's fine. He, he can come to oh, my so house. Oh, so I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, you no, can't. But you do understand that I will move. Like To where, though? I don't know. <laughs> Anywhere, honestly, anywhere. What's the point? I'll move to a yeah, fucking motel if I have to. What is the point? Because it's so fucking hot all the fucking time. <laughs> and honestly, like, if I want to go to bed at fucking nine o'clock, then I will go to bed at nine, and like I'll sleep, and I'll I wake I up. I never six. bother you when you go to sleep. It's not, literally, it's not about that. It's not about that. So what is it Just, about? Do you do you understand like what privacy means or like? I you know, know absolutely. Not. I, I he has totally no idea respect your privacy. It's mm-hmm. not you. I, you do other than you, questioning you on this podcast about for twenty minutes about whether or not you slept with a girl. <laughs> um. No, but like I, I, you do respect my privacy a hundred percent, but I it's just not possible to get a hundred percent of it. Yeah, just but that's based nice. on because the other the, the percent you're missing for privacy, you're filling up with friendship. What is he not getting? Uh, what is he, he not getting? He doesn't understand you're, because you're, you're he needs literally giving attention. him exactly what he wants. He's he's oh. he's riling you up, and he loves it. It's, <laughs> he's in his happy place yeah, right Jason now. Jason know me too well. <laughs> 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 he's loving every minute uh, of this. Okay, okay. He's got gotcha. you in his well, web. I am. I am. I don't mind if you move. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm staying. <laughs> no, you better move, man. The funniest part is this is like the third time that we've come in your room after you've fallen asleep. What time was this at? Like 12 oh, a.m. Yeah. Oh, not that bad. That's pretty bad. I mean, like uh, at this point, I'm asleep for like 30 minutes. Oh. It was earlier than 12. It was like 11.30 It was like right when you left, asleep. Jason. I was like, yeah. Oh, gosh. Joe texts me every single time that he's left. He always texts me and he goes... Hey, I feel kind of bad that we did that. Like, I feel really bad that we waked Ilya. I know he texted me this morning. He's like, time. he's like, he's like, yo, dude, I didn't realize you were actually sleeping. My bad. Yeah, bro. Every, <laughs> I was like, it's okay. Every time Joe like like says like a joke to you that's a little bit mean or, or like off color or whatever, like he'll always text me and apologize. Be like, yo, did that make you feel uncomfortable? And I'm like, dude, please fucking stop doing this. This is the part that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yes. like, where you where you check up on me after your joke. Like, I don't care if you insulted me earlier. Yeah. 